Hey guys, I'm Chef Tom with All Things Barbecue, and today we're going to be preparing competition style Boston butt pork shoulders. So here we have our Boston butt pork shoulder, and we want to get really three main things out of this, and that's going to be the money muscle, which is right here. We're going to isolate that so that we can turn in slices. And then on the other end, around the blade bone, we have the horn. And this is what we're going to get our chunks out of. And then here in the center, we're going to take some pulled pork. And that's out of these tubes that run through the middle. The first thing we'll do is start by isolating this money muscle. We'll trim away any excess fat and silver skin from the outside. Now this is going to kind of taper down at this end, so really what we want to focus on is right here where we're going to try and get six fairly equal sized slices. See, we're just following along the side where we can see that the muscles separate. All right, so we've got this cleaned up a bit. We're going to come around to the other side where the fat cap is and go ahead and take that off. All right, so you can see here we have the money muscle isolated and we have plenty of surface area to work with now. Although it's still attached. So now we're going to flip around to the horn side where the bone is. And we just want to get as much surface area on here as we can so we can get rub and smoke all around this piece of meat. We'll start by cutting down into this crevice and exposing this meat. And then we're going to clean up all of this extra stuff, this silver skin, this fat. We don't need any of that on there. That's just going to inhibit the rub from penetrating and the smoke from penetrating. All right, now with this side mostly cleaned up, we're going to flip it over and do the same to the other side. All right, so with all of that excess fat, silver skin, all removed from the surface of the horn, we can now focus on this middle section. And we're just going to do the same thing, taking off anything that's not meat. Including the rest of this fat cap. And here you can see one of those tubes we were talking about where we're going to get some of our pulled pork. You can see we have some of this here. It's actually from that crevice on the other side. So we'll go ahead and flip that over and get rid of that as well. And at the very top of this lip, we're probably not going to end up using this stuff at all. So just to help expose this horn a little more, 
we'll go ahead and just take that off. You know, it's most of that is stuff that you don't want in the end anyway. All right, so we've got all of our isolated areas, our money muscle where we're gonna get our slices. We've got the horn where we're gonna get our chunks. And here in the center, these tubes where we're gonna get our pulled pork. At this point, we're ready to inject. All right, so we're gonna be injecting our pork butt at this time. Uh, we're using the Smoke on Wheels Pork Marinade and Injection, which has got some really great flavors for pork. It's got some pineapple in it. It's got some apple, a little bit of soy. There's a couple of reasons we want to inject. One is it's another opportunity to add flavor, which always is a good idea when you're doing competition anything. You've got to get big flavor in this meat because the judges aren't going to taste a lot of it. The other reason is to help break down some of these tissues and make it nice and tender. And we get that with the acidity from the pineapple juice and some of the apple juice in this injection. So we'll start here at the horn and you'll find that pork can hold quite a bit of injection and you'll just watch as that flesh balloons up with the injection. So we're gonna insert the needle, poke around to create a pocket and then add some of the injection. Now also here in the center, you can get quite a bit of injection into this meat. All right, now when we get down to the money muscle, this has lots of fat running through it and really doesn't need to take much injection at all. But just for a little added flavor, we are gonna put a little bit in here. All right, at this point what we want to do is wipe off the excess moisture and we'll go ahead and apply our rubs. So the rubs we'll be using today are Three Eyes Original Barbecue Spice Rub and Our Butts Are Smoking Ozark Heat. And we're just going to combine those 50-50, which I've done in this shaker here. All right, and let's just let that soak in a little bit before we flip it over and season the other side. At a minimum, you need to give this about 10 minutes to soak in, but it's also a good idea to maybe do this a couple hours ahead so that all those flavors really start to mix. So we're smoking our pork today on a Yoder Smokers YS640 pellet grill. It's set to 225 degrees. So we're about five and a half hours into this cook and we're getting some really nice color on these pork butts. Let's go ahead and take a look and see if we're ready to wrap. So we have a really nice dark brown mahogany color on this and at this point I think we want to go ahead and wrap it in foil and stop that browning process. All right, so we see here on our pork butt we've got the money muscle here which has kind of shrunk down a bit. And this is a pretty small money muscle, and that's a good example of why we want to cook, you know, at least a couple of these for a competition. That'll really allow us to pick and choose our best pieces to put into the box. 
Now here in the thick part, we're reading about 155, which is right about where I'd guess. I just want to reiterate that we're not cooking to a temperature at this point. What we're looking for is a doneness, a certain color, uh, and that's where we want to stop the browning process, and that's why we're wrapping it in the foil. So the only thing we're going to do to this at this point is add a little bit more of our smoke on wheels pork injection. We'll probably put, oh, about a quarter cup of this in the wrap. Now we want to wrap this as tight as possible. And just to be sure that we don't lose any of that liquid, we're going to wrap it twice with the foil. All right, so with our butts wrapped in foil now, we're going to return them to the cooker. And we'll go ahead and turn the temperature up to 300 degrees. All right, so the next thing we're going to be looking for is to finish off those money muscles. And we're looking at about a 285 to 290 finishing temperature, but we'll come back in a little bit and probe those and see how tender they are. All right, so here we are about an hour and a half into cooking this wrapped. We're just gonna check on the tenderness. So here's our horn down here. And this is where we wanna pull our chunks from. We're looking at internal temperature of about 200 degrees right now, so this should be a really good spot to pull this. Now we're gonna go stick that in a cambro to rest for at least half an hour before we do anything else with it. Now before we throw this butt into the cambro to rest, we just want to put a little bit of sauce on it to kind of tack up onto that money muscle before we slice it. The sauce we're going to be using is Eat Barbecue's IPO sauce. This is a really great sauce. It's got a great balance of sweet and vinegar to it. So we're just going to pour a little bit right here on top of the muscle. And then we'll kind of brush that around. Now as the muscle rests, that heat from the muscle is going to allow the sauce to really kind of tack up on it. So we're just sort of loosely going to cover this and then we'll throw it into the cambro. All right, so here we have our butt that we're going to be using for pulling and for getting chunks out of. And we're just going to go ahead and separate these. There's that money muscle, which obviously is over now that this is at a pulling temperature. Um, but this is such delicious stuff and it's got such good bark on it that this could be really good for uh, your, your pulled meat that you put into the box. So we're just going to keep that in the juice, keep it nice and moist. Over here, we have this big hunk, with great bark that we can get some chunks out of. And these chunks are exactly what they sound like. They're not quite going to fall apart like our pulled stuff will. They'll have a little bit of pull left to them but we want to get some with the nice bark on it because um, that bark's got a ton of flavor and texture to it. And this part, this muscle right in here, if you, if you look at this blade bone where the smaller muscle is, this is some of my favorite meat on all of, all of a pork butt. So we'll see if we can get some good chunks out of that too. All right, so here we have our money muscle. It's been sitting for about 30 minutes, 45 minutes. That sauce is tacked up really nice on the outside. We're just going to go ahead and remove that. Bring it over here to our cutting board, and we need to get six slices out of this guy. So let's take a little bit off the end here. And I'd say that's about the end of where we want so that we're nice and even on size. I'm going to get three out of each half. And there we have six evenly sliced, evenly sized slices to put into our box.
that money muscle is just shredded and really tender right now and it's got some great bark on it so we run that through the juices there to get a lot of flavor so we're just going to hit that with just a little bit of our sauce right there on top and we'll kind of toss that around to get it coated in that sauce not too much the pork's got a ton of great flavor in it already Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please click the subscribe button. And if you have any questions or comments or there's anything you'd like to see me cook, let me know in the comment section down below. For more recipes, tips, and techniques, you can head over to thesauce.atbbq.com. All things barbecue, where barbecue legends are made.